We've been working with drawings in this course so far, but one thing that we still need to cover, making a custom drawing template for your business. Let's do it now. I've opened a blank drawing here in Alibra, and of course we would like to make a custom drawing template from it. Uh, the first thing that I should do when making a custom drawing template is to activate a sketch on the sheet. You can tell that I can add some sketch elements that look like they fit pretty well, uh, but I can't actually snap them in because there's no point to snap onto. So we'll want to convert our title block into these straight sketch lines that we'd be able to interact with. I'll right click on the title block and choose Explode Symbol. And when I do, you'll notice that of course these become lines that we automatically can snap to now and the elements down here become drawing number, sheet number, sheet scale, and these are connected to the part properties that we went through in an earlier video. So let's go through modifying this drawing template. Maybe first, let's say I decide I don't want to have my revision history up here. I can highlight what I don't want and click delete. I also can delete this line and maybe I want to add a confidentiality statement down here and a company logo up here. Well, I can start doing that by using a text label and I can write out a simple generic confidentiality statement. And with this statement, I can click apply and move it right over here. Now, as I said before, the scale comes in automatically, the drawing number will come in automatically, the sheet number will come in automatically, we might want to focus on revision as well. And we can do that using a field. And I can choose property value. And I can come on down to find the property that I would like, which in my case is revision. I can apply that and close and move the revision right to where it should go in our title block. Notice the revision will start at the beginning of the field and not the middle, and so I move the revision a little bit off-center of that box on purpose. Okay, next I can work on redrawing anything that I would like. Perhaps I want another section up here, or whatever really works or is important. You can use the sketch tools to sketch in. You also can dimension some of these things. Right, maybe I want this to be 10. And it moves the end of the line out that way, but you get the idea that you can also use dimensions if you wanna be very specific about how your title block looks. Finally, we may want to add a logo, and for that, I'll actually deactivate my sketch. We'll go to Sheets and Views and add an image. And then I can select an image file from this window. And once I've selected my image, you can see I've selected a very huge image, and we can always be able to scale our image. Maybe I'll make that a one to 50 scale, and then I can move my scaled image wherever I'd like, and maybe I'd wanna scale that a little bit larger. Just like that, I can put in my company's logo right in the title block. Now that we have this template just the way that we want it, and notice that we have no drawings up here, right? This is only the template that we're working on, which is very important. We can go ahead and do a save as. We'll actually leave the format the same, AD underscore DRW, and we'll choose a place in our Explorer that uh, we can place it. Now, I wouldn't suggest the Alibre installation folders because if you change versions, you might uh, have your template be overwritten. So do something outside of the Alibre system folders and save your drawing. Once that is saved, I can go ahead and close. And now from the home screen, when I go to open a drawing, from this menu, I, of course, I can choose template. We'll go with browse and I'll choose my custom drawing template that I've just made. When I open my drawing template, of course it asks me a part to insert into the template, and I can even add my part. 
And when I go to say edit my 3D model, which is kind of a crazy table, we'll go to file. And then down here for revision, maybe I will make this revision C. We'll go back and save and close. And now with that new property, I'll go to drawing management and reproject views to update everything. And then we now have the property with the revision right in the title block, just how we want. So this, this custom drawing template appears to be fully functional. And that's how we make custom drawing templates. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video, which I think is our last. See you there.